Hey everybody, welcome to Around the Twist. It is March 12th, 2015, and this is episode 198. Um, so I'm recording a day late, as you can tell, obviously. If you're watching, you know I'm recording a day late. Uh, once again, babies conspired against me. Dogs conspired against me. Um, even today is not going that well. <laughs> The house has been hit by viral plague. Uh, I'm calling it viral plague. I'm hoping it's not and that it doesn't continue to work its way through our ranks. It has, um, obviously I've been sick this winter uh, until now. Hubby and the kids have stayed free of that, but I've been well for like five days, five, six days since the last time it took me out. And now today, Gabe came down with some GI bug. I'm just fingers crossed that it doesn't go through to Tara and uh, to Hubby as well. He's managed to steer clear of it so far. So there were there we are. That's <laughs> you guys almost didn't get a show this week, but because Hubby's home from work now, I'm able to sit down and record and spend some time with you guys. So here we go. What's on my needles? I have. Same three things as last week with a little more progress. First is the 2x2 two two Hands of Blue socks. Uh, these are 72 stitch vanilla socks. Here, let me show you the finished, almost finished one. This is by, ooh, color is much better this week. Yay. Tried closing the blind there. Um, you might see the color adjust a little bit. I changed a few controls on the camera too. Um, I closed the blind that's on the window in front of me, so I'm just going off of these lights. I still have to haul in my other light from the garage, and actually I discovered get light bulbs for it. So uh, we'll keep working with this cruddy overhead. Yeah, you can see, look, shadows. Uh, cruddy overhead lighting that gives me lovely shiny spots. Great! Uh, but the color is much better because we're not having that light bouncing in from outside. So this is 2x2 two two Hands of Blue color from Friday Studios. It is on her Monday base. It's a Firefly reference, in case you didn't catch that. Uh, her Monday base is a 7525 Superwash Wool and Nylon. If it's going to focus. Oh, almost, almost. There we go. And there's Frida's uh, website down there at the bottom. Uh, loving this. She's doing some beautiful snow dyed yarn uh, while it's been snowing over there in... I'm going to screw this up. Frida, I'm sorry. Finland? I think she's in Finland. I'm sorry if it's Sweden instead, but I'm pretty sure it's Finland. Uh, <laughs> God, this is awful, awful. Uh, but she's done some, been doing some beautiful snow dyed yarn with the storm she's been having lately. I haven't been able to snag any, but some gorgeous, gorgeous stuff coming up. So this is a 72 stitch vanilla sock, getting back to the knitting, you know, since the show is about knitting, you know, crafting. Uh, 72 stitch vanilla sock, I'm knitting it on US ones, a 2.25 millimeter needle. And the second sock is coming along. It's not going as fast as the first one, probably because I'm not knitting on it as much as the first one. Uh, but it's still coming along. I uh, Last week I had just done the ribbing and was just starting the cuff. So I've gotten probably uh, two, maybe three, three and a quarter inches done on the cuff. Not too shabby. Uh, I believe I need... Oh, let's see, hold them up side by side. So I'm on the black right there on the second sock. It's kind of curling up a little bit, as stocking it does. So I have to do a black, a white, a black, and then half of a blue, and I'll be able to put in for the afterthought heel. Yay. So they're coming along. When I have no brain power for anything else, this comes out. Um, and hubby likes them so far. Obviously, he hasn't been able to try them on because I haven't done the second or done the heel on the first sock, but he likes them. So, yay. If he didn't, that was going to be the end of socks for him. But, 
Uh, he'll, he'll continue to get socks. He's earned it. He's definitely knit worthy when he does wear stuff that I knit him. He hasn't touched the slippers, that, except like twice. But it's also 60, to, 60 plus degrees here today. It's going to be in the 60s. Of course, I finished wool slippers for him right as winter completely ends in Colorado. Isn't that fabulous? That's just... That's the way it works, isn't it? As soon as it gets cold in the fall, we all start knitting sweaters. Got a lovely little something there. That's nice. Gross. Um, we start knitting sweaters and big... We want It turns cold and we want to knit big snuggly things. Blankets, and sweaters, and big shawls. And then we there's these huge projects. And as soon as we finish them, boom, it's spring. And the whole thing is pointless absolutely pointless so we should be knitting all the big stuff like now when it's 60s 70s beautiful out and instead we want to knit like little floaty scarves and kerchiefs and what have you instead and it, yeah. instead of pre-planning we go with what the weather's like at the moment it's just I see it everywhere I see it on uh, I see it on Instagram I see it on the rav feed but I'm butting my head against that. Socks are always good. Always carry socks. So that's the first thing. My, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to mute my phone. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, my Atlantic Current socks are next. Okay. Man, this camera's touchy. I'm not sure I like the whole... Okay, I'm not going to change it now, but I have that auto light balance or right light on and I'm not sure I'm liking it right now because it goes from kind of yellowy to very white okay we'll, we'll see we'll, we'll go with it for the moment my Atlantic current socks <laughs> okay let me strip one of these off yeah I haven't taken my tipsy socks off the sock blockers since I showed them to you that means I have a sock blocker nearby huzzah because my first Atlantic Current sock is done. I know, I didn't have much to do on it last week. So here we go. Oh, that's still showing kind of a little bit blue. Uh, this is Atlantic Current is the pattern. <laughs> I've said that like four times now. Atlantic Current by Amelia Bella Melissa of the His and Hers podcast. It's available on Ravelry. I'm doing the 72 stitch size on US 1s, 2.25 millimeter needles. I am knitting them out of oh, bugger. <sighs> oh, don't tell me. No! You guys, you were supposed to remind me to put the tag back in the bag. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I did. <laughs> oh, that's where my brain is. It's gone. It's gone. I swear. I'm just... So, the yarn is the Pococo sock from Into the World. The colorway is Captain Tight Pants, another Firefly reference. This is their 7525 Superwash Merino and Nylon colorway. And you can find all of their beautiful yarn at Into the World. Com. I'm losing it. I'm, it's, you know what? I'm not even losing it. It's lost. It's gone already. I just completely gone. So first sock is done. Last week I just had the toe left to. I had like two or three repeats of the pattern and then the toe left to knit. Obviously it ended up pooling around where the gusset is and that's fine. I am perfectly okay with that. Ooh, there we go. That's actually pretty close to color. Awesome. Ooh, that's not... Okay, I don't know what its camera's doing. Camera's being all funky. So, second sock. I got the cuff all done. Finished. I am ready to do my heel flap, which I'm doing the Eye of Partridge heel flap that is in the pattern. I uh, don't want to give her away secrets of the pattern because it's a very very easily memorized pattern I need to look up how to do the eye of partridge heel because it's it's not as intuitive to me but uh, I love the pattern it's great just slightly like a step above 
mindless knitting like just when you you need something to draw your focus just a teeny little bit uh, but you still need to be able to like have a conversation you can totally do that with these uh, two of the pattern rows are exactly the same and the third one is equally mindless and it's perfect it you really don't have to count I love it I love it I'll definitely be knitting these again probably uh, with a thicker yarn and try the 64 stitch pattern. These are just right for me. Love them. So second sock, cuff is done. I'm not sure how much I'll get done on it in the next week, but yeah, might surprise myself. Uh, my goal is to at least get through the heel flap and turn and gusset and be working on the foot to show you guys next week, but no promises because it always seems like when I make promises, then it just kind of goes out the window and it doesn't happen. So that's that. Thing the third. Knitting thing the third. Oh, my county redemption sweater. I'm so excited about this. I gotta scoot forward a little bit because I'm so excited. So I've been working on it, obviously, or I wouldn't be showing it. Last week I had just done the ribbing and was maybe like a couple rows into the pattern. I have done a pattern repeat. Ooh, okay, don't, don't freak out if you're doing this sweater because it does tend to roll a little bit, but all of that comes out in the blocking. I could have told you that from my last one. It blocked beautifully and was laying perfectly flat until the whole unfortunate of an incident, but we're putting that behind us. This is all about redemption, right? Right. So I am, oh, bugger, I forgot how hard this is to show. I am one and a half pattern repeats in. Let's see. I can get this. Yes. So there's my ribbing at the bottom. And this shows up so much better on screen than it does in real life. Cool. I was so scared you guys wouldn't be able to see this. Awesome sauce. So I know I talked about the colors of my yarn, which is the County Effect Garn. This lovely uh, in the EF color. Uh, this, the, the color, the dye lot that I have for this sweater is a different dye lot than I had for my old one. It's much, uh, duskier, darker, dustier. I don't know how to, it's almost like it was dyed in the brighter colors and then over dyed in like a gray just to mute it. Muted. There we go. It's more muted. Um, it's definitely the same colors that I knit before the, uh, pink, blue, green, pink, blue, purple, green is the order that I'm doing. So started with the green and blue. Let's see if I pull back, this is closer to what it looks like in real. Yeah, even that's a little, eh, not bad. Anyway, so two rows of the squares is a pattern repeat. So I've done three rows of squares. I will turn it around and show you my floats even. How's that for you? Not the most even, but I mean, even enough. It's a little bit, I mean, I'm not going to stretch it out. I'm just going to hold it up for you now. Not stretching, just holding. Uh, kind of. You can see it's kind of puckery. A little bit, but that will block. Just that teeny little bit. It's just slightly drawing in. Just slightly. Nothing that's going to affect gauge. It's just the natural bounciness of the wool. So yay. Uh, I am planning on shooting a little, to, uh, I know I did a tutorial the last time that I recorded, um, the last time I recorded, the last time I knit this sweater on how to cut steeps. So I'll probably do another one, but I also want to do another short, short tutorial on uh, two-handed color work knitting. 
and uh, I'm a I knit English style I'm a thrower so for me I hold my main color in my right hand and my contrast color uh, woven through my left and I pick in order to do the contrast color so I don't have to pick up and drop and pick up and drop every time uh, because on the middle rows, the, there's only, it's a 20 row repeat and eight of the rows have color work. So it's really not that hard. The rest of them are only worked one color at a time. If you're thinking about doing this sweater, which I probably should tell you what it is. It is the County Rainbow Cardigan by Ruth Sorensen. I am doing the medium size, the middle size. And if you're looking for the links, I did put links on my project page uh, under the notes section. There's a link to the pattern itself because um, I ended up having to go and use the Wayback Machine in order to get to the pattern page, uh, but it's still there. So if you're looking for the pattern itself, it is on my pattern on my project page, which I'll link to in the show notes that are on the blog, which is roundthetwistwithkaren.blogspot.com. And I also put links to a YouTube video on how to do two color ribbing or no, a, a two color cast on, excuse me. And also another video on how to do two color ribbing. So if you're thinking of doing this sweater or a similar project and don't know how to do those, there's a resource for you. So the County rainbow cardigan, it's kind of a very loose pattern. It's just kind of a cast on this many and go. And there is a little bit of interpretation with it. I remember from the last time, I remember looking at puzzling and going, oh, what? Uh, I think I'm a much better knitter now. It's I'm four year, four more, four or five more years under my belt of knowing what I'm doing and reading patterns and interpreting and knowing what's going on. Uh, so I did the smaller needles, which was a, the US two and a half for the ribbing because the two color ribbing is not elastic. Uh, it does not have the amount of draw in like regular ribbing does and that's just the two color nature of it. And then I switched up to a US four. No, I still have not found my signature US four, the 3.2 or 3.5 millimeter needle. I haven't found it. It's driving me nuts. I know it's around here somewhere. I've sent Tara on a hunt. She hasn't found it yet. And yeah. Notice babies aren't down here. They are taking a nap. They need it. Uh, so one and a half repeats done on the body. I'm very happy. The color work is killing my wrists a little bit, but I've also been knitting a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, in the past like week and a half, I feel like I've knit more than I have in the last six months. And I probably have been. I'm, I know I've been knitting more in my... My wrists just aren't used to it. They're not up to it. it. So I'm trying to take frequent breaks and stretch. It's very important. You don't want to, these are the only hands you have and the only wrists you have. You don't want to burn them out. So make sure when you're knitting, you take care of yourself. Very important. Lots of breaks, lots of stretching. Yay. So that's it for knitting. My county redemption cardigan. Yay. Okay, on to pokey things. I've also been stitching a bit on the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Ooh, there go all my needles. Uh, which, huh, I'll show you what I'm using for needles. I got these at, ooh, can't focus. No. There we go. I got these at Hobby Lobby ages ago. Also, I just noticed something. That... Yeah, blunt point, blunt point my butt. I have drawn more blood with these than I do with a regular sewing needle. So, I'm working on the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Once Upon a Time Sampler. And last week I had put in the grid and I was starting on the banner. Well, I made a little more progress on the banner and on the... Uh, Uh, the border. That's the word I'm looking for. The border at the top. Just a little. I mean, I had maybe like half. Uh, let's see this side. Around a little bit. So I finished. I did the other side and started on 
the border. I'm still just using the, the dark navy blue thread. So it doesn't look interesting. I'll be some of the pink, that raspberry color that's down here in the middle of the grid. That'll come into play along the border as well. I still haven't decided if I'm going to stitch the whole border the whole way around. That's going to be awfully boring for you guys. Or if I'm going to like stitch at least around the top third, like here, do that whole border, and then start filling in the squares. I haven't decided. I'm kind of playing it loose and going, oh, I feel like stitching this. Uh, I think I'll definitely still go in order for doing the months. I'm not going to willy-nilly, I'm going to start with September today. And yeah, no. <laughs> Try to get it done kind of in order, but not a whole lot of stitching, just enough. Uh, mainly because I did have to rip out. <laughs> I had, let's see, which side did I done? I had done, I had started up this side, and then I had gone out just like part way on this little scroll work going out here. And what was it? I think I'd gone along the bottom and when I went to go up, I actually started like over here rather than over here and started to go up and then I realized, ah, crud. And I had to rip the whole thing out and that was like 45 minutes of work because I was watching Supernatural at the time and I really shouldn't watch that when I'm trying to stitch. but. Keeps me distracted and not freaked out when I'm watching it at 2 in the morning. Or I shouldn't watch Supernatural at 2 in the morning. There's a moral to this story, people, I swear. So that's all the stitching that I've done. Ah, I need to work on it more. Get more done. Work faster. Stitch. Stitch harder. Go. Okay. Very and sundry. We're up to that. Uh, I don't have any coffee because I'm kind of hoping to grab a little bit of a cat nap. Uh, going into another four-day weekend, and my sleep schedule is all kind of screwed up right now. I've been awake since about four this morning, and I didn't go to bed until midnight, so four hours of sleep. I had two cups of coffee this morning. I've been dealing with sick children. I'm amazed I don't have coffee because, wow, I'm talking a lot and very fast. Um, and forgetting to breathe, evidently. Okay. I did get my coffee order from San Marco that came in. I have tried a few. Give you guys a little uh, heads up about that. It is sanmarcocoffee.com. If you're looking for that, I get no kickbacks from them. It would be nice, but no. Uh, I tr let's see which ones did I try? I tried. I tried chocolate raspberry. That was very good, which I was expecting it to be because their their chocolate flavors are all delicious. Uh, I tried the strawberry wave cheesecake amazing it actually tastes like strawberry cheesecake like you have a piece of strawberry cheesecake in your mouth and you take a swig of coffee who knew i figured that one could go either way it could be either really bad or it could be really good it's actually really good uh the what did i try this morning i tried oh pecan fudge nah. it, it's one of those ones where you go yeah you know it's a good chocolate flavor but how many Chocolate flavors do you need? I'm really not getting pecan off of it. But, meh, I tried it. It's good. I only got a half pound of it, so yay. Uh, not great, not awful. It's kind of a middle of the road. It's a good, solid flavor, but it's meh. I'm just kind of meh about it, so I probably won't order that one again. But it was good to try. Uh, and... Yeah, that's it for flavors that I've tried. Uh, so last thing, uh, the Redemption Craft Along, Knit Along, Spin Along, Crochet Along, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to start up a thread, actually probably a couple threads over on the Ravelry board. If you, and I'll put all this over on the threads too. If you'd love, like to participate, it sounded like people were interested, so we're going to start this anything. It doesn't have to be a fail on the level of pulling a Karen and burning a sweater. It can be anything that you've had languishing in a drawer, a UFO that you 
lost the pattern to or couldn't set it down for six months and then couldn't figure out where you were or something you want to start over, something you've always been meaning to try. Uh, it's for time for redemption. <laughs> we're going to conquer this. So I'm going to start a chatter thread and an official entry thread. And probably, uh, it's going to have to be tonight. Oh, bugger. I'll probably do that once everyone else goes to bed. But look for it over on the RAV board. I'll also post, um, probably post something to Instagram as well if you're over on Instagram. But the official thing will be on the Ravelry boards. And yeah, as long as I am knitting my county redemption sweater, the redemption knit along, craft along will continue to go. And we'll have some prizes when it finishes. And just have fun with it. Double dip, triple dip with other knit alongs, craft alongs. And well, yeah, we'll go from there. So I'm going to leave it at that. Everyone, please have a better week than I'm having. And until next week, happy knitting.